Just after 9 a.m., a strong earthquake with an epicenter located 200 kilometers from its coastline shakes the southwestern extreme of Europe. Shortly afterwards, the inhabitants of Lisbon feel an enormous trembling that weakens the majority of the city's buildings and results in a large number of them collapsing. Their collapse causes a multitude of fires to break out rapidly across the already almost ruined city. Then the waters of the Targus retreat, before successive waves crash against the port and its surrounding area. destroying what little structures were left standing. Other Portuguese cities also suffered the consequences. Sintra and Setubal watch most of their buildings crumble. The Algarve suffers serious damage, and further south, the city of Faro is practically destroyed. In Spain, the earthquake seriously affects many cities, but the greatest damage is owed to the subsequent tsunami, which floods the majority of coastal towns in the provinces of Huelva and Cadiz. Further south, the damage reaches the Canary Islands, although it is less serious. In Morocco, the earthquake almost completely raises the city of Meknes and causes significant destruction in the cities of Tangier, Fez and Tetuan. The death total in all areas affected amounts to tens of thousands. This was the 1st of November 1755. The earthquake, which measured between 8.7 and 9 on the Richter scale, is historically known as the Lisbon earthquake. The repetition of a phenomenon of a similar magnitude is not impossible which is why preparations that would reduce human loss and material damage as much as possible are essential. In order to achieve this, the West Tsunami European Exercise 2015 has been programmed. This initiative under the auspices of the European Commission involves the collaboration of Portugal, Morocco and Spain. The exercise has two fundamental objectives. On the one hand, it aims to check the existing procedures and abilities in each country to alert the civil protection authorities, crisis intervention services and the potentially affected population in coordination with the European Response Coordination Centre, ERCC. Secondly, it hopes to rehearse the procedures for requesting ERCC intervention teams and means in addition to the integration ability regarding decision-making on the information that comes from the European Earth Observation Satellite Service, Copernicus. The exercise is developed in three different stages, preparation, execution and evaluation. Preparation entailed the organization of two conferences. The first of these conferences involved the contributions of experts from the three countries participating in the exercise and the European Commission, and it focused on the technical aspects of detection and warning. The second conference addressed issues related to the organization considered in response plans for this type of risk in the participating countries. In the execution stage, the exercise will simulate the occurrence of an earthquake with an epicenter near that of the 1755 earthquake, registering damage in Huelva, the Canary Islands, southern Portugal and the Atlantic coast of Morocco. The organisations responsible for giving warning in each country will advise the respective authorities that a tsunami may occur. The response organisations of Morocco, Spain and Portugal, which will already be activated following the earthquake, will add the warning of a tsunami risk to the response actions for the affected pollution through social communication methods and other appropriate systems. Operational coordination centres will seek the support of the European Earth Observation Satellite Service, 
and request assistance from other states within the European Union Civil Protection Mechanism through the ERCC, which will deploy aid coordination teams to each of the affected countries. Finally, a group session will be held for the immediate analysis of the development and undertaking of the exercise before finishing with a technical evaluation day on the lessons learned, which will enable the extraction of consequences in order to then improve alert systems and aid coordination provided by the European Union Civil Protection Mechanism. The European Union Civil Protection Mechanism facilitates coordination between the 34 member states for the purpose of improving the cooperation of civil protection response services in the event of a serious emergency emergency, in addition to contributing aid to third-party countries. The West Tsunami Exercise 2015 forms a part of the preparedness activities of the European Union Civil Protection Mechanism. In the framework of the External Financial Programme, its launch will undoubtedly contribute to an improvement in the response procedures for a highly unlikely occurrence that does, however, have extremely serious consequences, while it would also aid the perfecting of the coordination of support methods through the participation of the ERCC.